There are several new movies out this weekend, but one is getting a lot of attention. Mark Wahlberg's The Fighter just picked up six Golden Globe nominations and could be an Oscar contender. But the actor told me it took just as much blood and sweat to get the film on the big screen as there was in the actual movie. The Fighter tells the true story of boxing champion Mickey Ward, played by Mark Wahlberg. Set in Lowell, Massachusetts, just 30 miles from where Wahlberg grew up, the drama focuses on Mickey's relationship with his older half-brother, Dickie Eklund, a former boxing hero whose days of glory were overshadowed by his crack addiction. He's using you. You can't be me. You had a hard enough time being you, and that's why you're in here. I mean, they were local legends, you know, I mean, Mickey and, you know, and Dickie, but especially Mickey. I met him the first time when I was 18. I was like, dude, this is... One of the greatest boxers of all time. Mickey faces a variety of challenges in The Fighter, but Wahlberg had his own battle getting the film produced. What were some of the biggest obstacles you had to overcome to get The Fighter on the big screen? Just getting it made, getting a co-star, getting a director. But, you know, I promised Mickey I was going to make the movie. You know, I knew it could be a great thing. And, you know, Mickey never quit, so I couldn't quit. I couldn't give up on it. Several directors came and left the project, and Matt Damon and later Brad Pitt both accepted, then walked on the role of Dickie Eklund. Along with Amy Adams and Melissa Leo, Christian Bale finally accepted for good. He read it and responded right away and said, I'm in, I want to do it. And then, you know, it was all a process, but, but uh, I, I knew that I had the right Dickie. In order to play the part, Bale dropped 30 pounds for the role and said meeting Dickie was an experience on its own. How was that meeting Dickie and was he hesitant towards you portraying him? The first couple of times I spoke with him on the phone, I couldn't understand anything he was saying to me, but I understood I'd agreed to a couple of things. I didn't quite get what I'd agreed to. But then meeting him, I got my ear in. He doesn't speak English, he speaks Dickonese, as he calls it. <laughs> uh, I, I started to learn Dickonese, I got it down. Eventually the two of us could just rap uh, endlessly. Uh, I, I, it's like he's speaking the Queen's English to me now when we talk. Wahlberg said it was more of a physical transformation. He started training five years prior to the film to make sure he had the moves and look of a champion boxer. It just it took, you know, the time and the energy and the, the desire to, to just get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and run 8 miles and, you know, sometimes 8, 10 hours a day, but it was worth it. And, you know, I never wanted to look like an actor who could box. I wanted to look like a boxer who could win the title. He wasn't inventing himself into a whole different kind of person. He was playing a man from a family of nine kids, Boston area, the Irish Catholic. Um, he, so, so his training was so he could really be a fighter. Oscar nominations could go to both Wahlberg and Bale for their performances. But right now, Mark and his co-stars are just hoping the film attracts moviegoers. For me, it's more about the people who go and see the film. Are they having a good time? Do they enjoy it? And I think with the fighter, they will.